The marshes are filled with contradiction, beauty, and danger. Rich and teeming with life, and yet dark and poisonous. Even the sex leal are at its mercy. Even we, the people of the root, exist there because Black Marsh allows it. The swamps are a vast, golden chalice filled to the brim with the most intoxicating brandy, and we mere bugs floating on its surface, seduced by its sweet bouquet, and blissfully unaware of the depth of its dangers. The marsh is still, shrouded in an ever-present mist that steals all sound. The grasses roll in thick sheets, floating on the surface of the dark water. Water so black, so still, that even the most humble pool is a mirror of limitless depth. We gaze into the glass and study our reflections, searching for a glimpse of our own souls, unaware that something is looking back at us from the depths. The children of the room born of the swamps, but even we see only the reflections of its power. It is a land that cannot be tamed, cannot be conquered, can never be truly understood. I miss the marshes of my home. I long for the familiarity of my family and the treetop village I once called home, but these are selfish thoughts. I serve my people. I serve the marsh, and it has called me here to Skyrim. A land of ice, snow, and a people in possession of such great hubris as to believe they own the land upon which they walk and toil. I look into these shallow waters and see only the bottom, as if the land itself has no soul. Why am I here? It has now been a year marking time and wind helm. Working, living, existing, waiting. My kin, the ones who have been here for generations, have lost their ability to commune with the hist. The tragedy of this is horrifying to contemplate. The whispering of the great trees has sustained me through many dark times, hard labor, and the sheer boredom of this harsh country. It is a vital umbilical that nourishes and sustains my soul. How do they do it? How could it be a life worth living? I mourn them. can see it in their eyes. Something missing they cannot comprehend. It fills me with such sadness. But these souls are already lost. They are not the ones I fight for. In the end, I was forced to leave my role at the docks. 
I could no longer look into their empty eyes. Now I make my living in the alchemical trades. Gathering what I need from the surrounding lands, I have learned much. I have also made a tidy profit selling my tinctures to the locals and moved out of the oppressive assemblage into my own humble home. And still, I wait. The world does not yet know we have returned. The Anzalil are rising once again from the dark waters, and we will not make the mistakes of our misguided predecessors. There are no shortcuts to power. There is a price to be paid in honest blood if peace is to last. These times are different. With incursions into Morrowind and rumors of a long-awaited king, the children of the Root will rise. And yet, in these times of revolution, I wait in Skyrim Will my Anzalil brothers and sisters fight for our people? Why am I here? What will my destiny be? My faith is fraying with each day that passes in this cold, dark place. When will the sign come for me, Okan, to join the fight? <laughs>